You want a cheap fight? Here's a fucking cheap fight. You stupid asshole. Goodbye. Forever. Yeah, he's just, he's dead. Um, his items and his weapon will appear somewhere. Maybe up here, maybe where he fell. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Who cares? He's dead. Now I can actually go through this fucking level without being hunted by turrets. Excuse you. I love how I just landed on his head and did the tiniest bit of damage. He's like, ow, ow. Can these guys climb ladders? I didn't think so. Welcome back. Um, that's not a ladder. That's just a thing that's sitting there. I think I can fall down here. Uh, that's the way I came from. So, yeah, sure, let's fall down here. That didn't seem like the right thing to do. But now I can do this. Not actually what I meant to do. I meant to do the heavy attack, which, never mind, whatever. Here is, okay, this is cool. They're all praying to this fucking thing. And, oh, what is it? There's something you can do in here that's cool. I know that's the most specific description I've ever given to anything. Is it that? That's it. And then it's all its all on fire and, and a bunch of the praying guys died. Which is totally fair and nice and cool and like, a thing that you should do to to people who are who are just minding their own fucking business. Uh, is there any other secrets up here? I don't know. So how how is your day? How how have you guys been doing? I've been doing this because I have not taken a break since the last time I played this. So it's like I've just been sitting here since yesterday, <laughs> which is kind of what it feels like. I hate when there's like little pseudo platforming sections because this game is not the mechanics of this game are not made for fucking jumping over gaps your jump in this game is pathetic and it's really scary there is a secret coming up somewhere but what the fuck there's something up here right I didn't come up here for fucking nothing maybe I did I don't know I don't want to just fall though <laughs> I don't want to fall. I'm afraid to die. Can I stand on this? Oh, that's okay. I can just... I can just stay here. Not worry about... Alright, fine. Whatever. I need... This. And then... Alright, I don't know what it was. I remember wanting to get it. But I don't remember what it was. Oh, God. I'm fucking up so much here. Madman's Knowledge, see you later. Which, by the way, first of all, you're in that pillar. You need to you need to stop. I like how some of these guys just, like, hang around. They don't even, like, fight you. So you can kind of just scold them for their actions. Be a, be a, be a, a stern parent. They are going to chase me out of here, though. Will you shut up? God, loud as fucking birds. I'm sorry, I love birds. Even if even if I had a bird that sounded like a rabid dog, I would still love it. I don't have a bird at all, so I don't know why I said still love it. Because I don't have any birds currently to love. Um, but I do love, I do love birds. They are nice. They are the smartest little, little buddies. I love them. <laughs> I always sound so angry when I'm recording. I mean, I guess it depends on the game I'm playing. There are some games that make me sound pretty happy, but, um, I don't know. I tend to sound angry just because it's, like, more energetic. Maybe I don't sound angry to you guys. Maybe I do sound happy, because I'm not actually angry. Like, 99% of the time, I'm actually having a good time. Um, every once in a while, there'll be a stupid game where the ending is really lackluster, and it gets me a little upset. It gets, gets, me, a, it gets me a little cheesed, you know? I just realized that the... The phrase for, like, cheating a game mechanic and being a little angry are both cheesed. And I think that's cute. I guess I guess it would be the past tense of cheating a game mechanic. Cheesing. Cheese. What the fuck am I even saying? I like cheese as a verb, is what I'm saying. <laughs> or as an adjective. 
Wait, it wouldn't be an adjective, but... Anyway, there's a boss here somewhere. The guy on the top of the clock tower was not the boss. He was entirely optional. You can actually become friends with him. I already said that. But there is an actual boss here somewhere. And we are going to find it if it fucking kills me. <laughs> because I... Oh, God. Um, do these guys take more damage to fire? Oh, they do, actually. I don't know why I was using my cleaver the whole time. I guess I just forgot. There's one other enemy in the chalice dungeon that's like this fucked up glob thing that jumps on you from the ceiling. And, like, you have to use fire to kill it. I feel like I've been... Yeah, no, this is where I just fucking was. Jeez. Look, I know, I know fire is your big phobia. I know that your entire city was ruined by fire. But let me just poke you with this thing for a little bit. I have no idea what I'm doing. You can go through Old Yarnum to get to somewhere else. There's another area outside of it um, that you have to go through it to get to. But I genuinely have no idea how. So I hope you guys like this area because we might be here for a little while. I am... Well, all right, here's something we can do is... No, not that. We were already there. We can fight this guy. This guy's kind of an asshole. We want to fight him. Goodbye. That's not a one-hit kill, not even close. I'm super under-leveled for this area, if you haven't noticed. Um, I am not supposed to be here yet. I feel like there was actually a whole other area that I was supposed to do first. There's like a, there's like a forest with a witch or something. God, I my memory for this game is just impeccable. No, it's a yeah. There's, there's a forest and and there's a there's like a mad doctor and I need to heal. You gotta stop shooting me, dude. All right, this one's out of here. Fuck it, shit, shit, fuck, ass. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I got a little I got a little excited. See, that's that's what I mean by sounding angry when I'm actually not, <laughs> because. It's stuff like this that I really enjoy. The one-on-one -on -one hunter fights are so fun. Um, there's actually the final boss of the DLC. Or, like, the second to last boss and the final boss of the DLC are both one-on-one -on -one hunter fights. And they're so fucking fun. I'm gonna run out of ammo before I run out of health. This guy's got way too much health. But, again, it's because I'm under underleveled. Another interesting thing I just noticed, these statues are of the people, but like, it's what they look like when they're transformed, right? These don't, these statues don't look like regular people. They look like the weird monster guys. So, that was already a thing that existed for them to make statues of, and yet they became it? I'm not sure I understand the lore of this game as much as I initially thought I did. These things, right? Oh no, maybe these are people. Yeah, I think these are just like their their saints or their priestesses. And then they turned into the monsters that I'm fighting. Because they're wearing the same, like, shawls, but they're not monsters. I don't know why I thought they were. Um, can I jump this? Nope! <laughs> that was the most forced fall. Oh my god. That looked terrible. Come on, Game designers, where the hell am I? <laughs> I don't even fucking know. There's a treasure chest that's ominously glowing like something is going to jump out behind me as soon as I open it. What a surprise! It's a bunch of these guys again. Uh, I don't even know where I am, honestly. I'm just happy I'm collecting lots of blood vials, because we're going to use them later. I, it's so weird that I haven't leveled up. Because the first time I played this, I mean, obviously we've leveled up, but not much. Um, not recently. The first time I played this, I was so afraid of everything. I would run back to the Hunter's Dream and level up like every fucking five minutes. The red moon hangs low, the beasts rule the streets, we're left with no other choice than to burn it all. So something about when the red moon comes, we're gonna have some problems, is what it's saying. And that's that's a thing to remember for later. Just 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 saying. No spoilers, you know, that's a thing to remember. There's a red moon. That, the little note on the ground like that, that's what the um, online messages look like, also. So it's it's easy to confuse a plot message for an online message, because they look the same. 
But, luckily, I don't have any online messages because, oh, here's the... Here's his stuff. The guy that I knocked off the clock tower. That's where he landed. Right on the corner of that and then plummeted down to the water, I guess. Which is cool. Here's his stuff. I cannot get it because it's in the air. Um, which I guess means they didn't expect you to kill him that way. Because it, like, glitches. Whatever. Um, I seriously don't know where to go. We're just going to go back to the Hunter's Dream and level up because that's what we need to do. And then I promise... Okay, they were just sleeping. Go back to sleep. You don't need this any more than I do. I'm sure you don't want to die either, so fucking leave it be. Just just let sleeping cloaked monsters lie. That's that's the thing that oh, I mean, I guess you're the you're the I'm talking to you and you're already the cloaked. Fucking, you know what? I felt bad for you. I was just I was just telling everybody that I wanted to spare your life. I was saying that. You heard me, right? Okay. So... I thought I saw an item. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really... Really just... Something about this is like really tripping my eyes out. There are certain areas in this game... Uh, the Nightmare Frontier being the biggest offender. I, we'll get there and you'll see what I mean. There's an area in this game... This one does it too. That just like my eyes fucking go out of focus just looking at it like I cannot deal with it <sighs> well I don't know how to get through old Yarnum so let me try to find the forest or whatever well first first we're gonna level up and then I'm gonna try to find that forest that I was talking about <laughs> maybe I should pull out the strategy guy and look at the fucking maps I don't know man the hunter's mark dangling upside down etched inside one's mind is that what it said there's a lot of stuff about the about like eyes on the inside of your head and um stuff on the inside brain brain stuff I don't know what <laughs> Yeah, strength. I need to level up my strength. I'm fucking like I'm weak as shit. Do I have any of the I forgot. <laughs> I forgot again about my face. God, it's beautiful. Okay, wait. There was something there's the thing that I was saying about the eyes inside the head. Look at this, wait. Look, wait. You see it? Wait, I can go back, wait. She's got, she's got like pupils inside. It's um, it's freaky, right? I'm sorry, that's really scary. But like, she has, she has pupils on the other side of her eyes. And there's no way that wasn't intentional. Like, that's not just what the eyes are modeled like in this game. No other character has that, I think. I could actually be wrong about that. We'll try it on another NPC. Um, but basically, that's terrifying, and I wanted to show it to you. I'm going to use these because I want to level up more than, more than once, because I feel very weak. But maybe I'm actually... I don't know, like... It took me a while to get to Old Yarn the first time I played. And now we just got there after, like, one boss battle. Which is freaky. I don't remember getting there that fast, ever. Um, I don't remember it being that easy. So, health and strength is basically what we'll be leveling up throughout this game. Because I don't really do anything else. That's probably going to frustrate some people because there are better things. But, like, I don't really use them <laughs> um oh, okay here we go we've got better we've got better equipment to put on so i can do that at least oh i got a top hat <laughs> sorry <laughs> i got really genuine about that for a second i was like oh arcane fi yeah whatever we look very dapper look at me i'm beautiful ah oh, serene i don't know what the fuck i'm doing it's a cool outfit, though. This this is how you do the chalice dungeon things. Um, shit, man. I don't have any fucking idea. Old Yarnum? Cathedral one? Hold up. <laughs> I'll get us somewhere new. I promise. I'm gonna get us somewhere new before I end the episode. But I don't know how. So we're gonna pause first. Okay, so here's something. I feel like we have not actually been down this way. 
on this playthrough. That way led to Old Yarnum. We have not been up here. Because I know that I would have said something about this good friend. This this nice friend of mine, if we had actually been over here. He, he, he he's, he's nice. He doesn't really pay attention to you. He's, he's a totally friendly character. I didn't mean to do that. I've already opened that. He just, he just minds his own business. You know, he's great. He's a great... He doesn't actually do that. He, he will actually kill you. Uh, nope. I lied. We can't go that way. Because we need an emblem. Which I think you buy with blood echoes? Yeah, and we've been over here. Or have we? It's... Okay, don't judge me, alright? Because it's hard to... We have not been over here. Which is good. Um, first of all, I feel really bad for just sneaking up on you like that. You, you didn't ask for this. I totally... It's totally my bad. I'm the one who just snuck up on you out of nowhere. Unnecessarily. Now there's two, so I'm going to ignore them and just... Oh, I could upgrade my weapon, couldn't I? You know, now, now, now that I think about it, I don't feel like there's anything down here. I feel like there's just a like a like a secret, like a weapon or something, right? I don't feel like there's actually uh, any any plot thing down here. What is this? Yeah, it's just a gemstone. That door is closed. Which, um, okay. Well, how about this? Fuck this shit. Fuck it all! Fuck you! Fuck all your bone-filled fucking... Why are they full of bones? They're full of human bones! It's creepy! God damn, man. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I get mixed up because I don't remember what we've done in this playthrough. And what I've done in my own. But, um... Not this. Here, oh wait. Here's something we haven't done. We haven't catapulted ourselves off the edge of this. Which is, like, my favorite thing to do. It kind of looks like there's a smiley face on that circle there. See, there's a two, there's a two dark dots, and then there's a circle. That's a smiley face. I'm done. I, I, I promise I'll go somewhere new next time. I don't fucking know. I'm really good at this game. I'm really good at it. I love it. I do love it. I love you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thank. I hit my, I hit my chest when I said that, which was... I didn't, I didn't need to do that. Anyway, oh, good night. Bye. Love you guys.